Hi, I'm Aniki Nippon. Today I was disappointed to read the news that the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy repealing will not happen. And this to me is a big disappointment. I am a veteran of three wars. I was in the Air Force. And I did know people who did suffer under these rules. That said, I also would like to add that I think it's a waste of the Office of Special Investigations efforts to be looking for gay people where they can be actually looking for people who rape, who murder, who injure each other, who commit frauds in the Air Force or any other military branch. You know, special investigations should be reserved for those kinds of things that are important, not for finding out whether they have a gay lover or not. And that to me is dis the most disappointing about the entire Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy. The fact that we spend so many resources because it is illegal in the military structure to allow somebody to be homosexual. Now, another thing I would like to note too is even if we got rid of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy, there is still a law that they would have to repeal in order for, in order for homosexuality to be completely legal. They're going to have to redefine the sodomy law under the UCMJ. And I know most people probably have not mentioned this at all, but it is something that's going to have to be done if homosexuality is to be allowed in the military. Actually, as it stands, the sodomy law is also against straight couples, so you're not able to have oral or anal sex with as a heterosexual person as well. And if they found out in committing whatever crime they're accusing you of, adultery or whatever, they tend to tack on that crime as a uh, means to get rid of you in the military. So, with that said, and I am sorry to say that the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy won't be repealed, but I want you to keep on trying to convince your representatives that it's the best idea, and it's the greatest idea that anybody can afford. These days it seems that there's a lot of fervor for passing the DREAM Act, which would enable illegal immigrants to serve two years in the military. It seems like they would rather have one single illegal immigrant serve in the military for two years rather than a homegrown gay person ever serving in the military. Does that seem fair to you? Ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you and it's up to me to get this thing changed. Let's get it done. The Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy is an effective and it's wrong. A homosexual is not innately less of a soldier or an airman or any military member just because they are homosexual and I want that to change. So you and me both, I'm on your side if you want to repeal this don't ask, don't tell policy and I approve this message. Please subscribe and continue watching.